caregiver. Flex was the only woman to hit the buzzer here in qualifying. Dreams of hitting another tonight. Yeah, she was a track star at the University of Maine. She knows how to go fast. And she is right onto the flywheels. She did the heptathlon in college and still holds 11 school records. She is a fierce competitor. Nice. Come on, you got it, you got it, you got it, yeah! And no problem! Now the 5'7", Lebrecht jumps up for the wheel flip. Remember, her boyfriend, Chris Gangi and Flex have a streak going. They've had the same results over the last four competitions, and Chris ran earlier, fell on Kane Lane. So, we will see if that streak is broken tonight. And those two train together all the time. And they get very nervous watching each other's runs. Lebrecht just looking so strong here. Woo! Get out of there! Get out of there! Yes! Yes! And Flex so beloved, so many ninjas on her sideline. And as the final woman tonight, she can guarantee a spot in the top two if she gets through a block run. Nice. Yep. Yes! She's a track star. And you know that's got to take some of the pressure off because now no matter what happens, she's going to Vegas. And look at that, blowing a kiss to Emily. Now she can concentrate on getting that buzzer. Up next for her, though, the spin hopper. She was the only woman to get through this obstacle in qualifying. Can she do it again? Man, she's got everything she needs to be able to make it all the way to the top tonight and become the first woman since Casey Catanzaro in season six to hit that buzzer in the finals. She's been to the ninth obstacle two years ago. Last year, she made it to the eighth obstacle. Now this dangerous move to the descent. She's got it. Nice. Watch on these descents. And look at the way she's kipping her body to make those landings. On the next so bar. Soft. On the next bar. Nice handle. Perfect nice. technique. Yes! Jesse Labrec does it again. And now the warp wall. 14 and a half feet, though. Cannot stop this woman. Watch her explode up this wall. Yes! No problem for Jesse LeBrack. You bad. You bad. So now only four obstacles left. She's made it to the back half all three seasons she's competed. The only one who's done it more, the great Jesse Graff. First up, the salmon ladder. Oh, she got this. Going with that switch grip here. All right, here we go. Boom. That's it. That's it. Crushing it. Check that one off. Now only three more obstacles to go. Up next, the clacker. 5'7", 134. Look at the power. Look, if you were to design the perfect ninja, that ninja would be 5'7", 134 pounds, and her name would be Jessie Lebrecht. Such a great athlete going into the University of Maine Hall of Fame later this year. This is the first woman ever to face this obstacle. Matt, Matt, it's about to go down. It's about to go down. I promise. There we go. And this is the first woman to defeat this obstacle. Come on. Come on. This looks like the run of the night. So now only two more obstacles to go. But up next, this is the dangerous one, Kane Lane. Tori Clement, Barclay Stockett in tears, so excited for their friend. But Kane Lane has been brutal. This is where Chris DeGangi fell earlier. Can Flex do better than him this time? But Jesse LeBrecht right now, can she? No! And just like that, Flex's quest for a city finals buzzer is over, but she made it to the ninth obstacle, and that is incredible. She's still going to Vegas.